I like the music. That's oh, great. I know, That's perfect. Don't you? We have with us Andrew Johnson Schmidt the third. We're talking about the second annual Bucky Awards, and I, I'm surprised I wasn't nominated, but I, I drew a stick horse and looked like a goat, and they just <laughs> yeah, threw sure. me right out. But there are big doings coming up this Saturday at the refurbished Elks Opera House. Tell us what's going on. Well, it's an award show that celebrates the artists, the performers, and the art supporters in Yavapai County. It's kind of like the Oscars for local arts. Gotcha. Wow, interesting. Right down to the red carpet. We actually oh, right? were able to locate. Outside the Oaks. There is a red carpet, but you got to know who to ask. And to get on it? Yeah. Yeah, Holy the the God. mayor is going to be uh, our speaker. Last year uh, at the beginning, Tom. Do we allow him on the red carpet? Well, that's how I got it. <laughs> you I, better allow him on it then. That's <laughs> a good idea. The mayor, I need a red carpet, yeah. and so poof, uh, we have a red carpet, and uh, it's just like that. People can come at 6:30 on Saturday from 6:30 to 7, right in the front door mm -hmm. of the Elks Opera House, through that gorgeous lobby, the refurbished. Mm -hmm. There's your red carpet. It's going to be covered live by Access 13, so we'll be showing, showing it on all the screens in the Elks Opera House, on the big screen, so you can sit in the audience and watch people coming in and over the air, and, uh, and then the show starts at 7 o'clock. How nice is that? Yeah. That's a big time. A lifetime contribution honoree this year. Right, we have 10 categories. Nine of them are different categories, you know, outstanding visual artists, mm -hmm. outstanding musical artists. Yeah, I saw that. The 10th category is Lifetime Contribution to the Arts of Yavapai County. And this year, it's going to Bill Nebaker. Oh, mm -hmm. very well deserved. Yes. He's so, only done this for 40 years. Right, right. Bronze works that, that can just fit on a table to giant bronze works. If you drive into town, that bronze, Fixture that statue at Gurley and Sheldon. Mm -hmm. That's Bill Nebaker. Right. We have images of his work. Uh, we'll be seeing very shortly. Uh, so yes, it, not difficult to choose him. But now this is the second annual. You'll be choosing others as you go further on in, right. uh, which may make it a little bit difficult because he is so outstanding. <laughs> but then you have so many people who are worthy of of that award. Uh, right there, we're seeing. Yep. Yep. Well, and it's uh, it's actually it's a it's a lot of fun when the committee sits down to work on uh, not only the lifetime contribution but all of them. Uh, it, it's kind of like when you go to the Acker Musical Showcase mm -hmm. and you look around you and you go, I didn't know my postman played the banjo. <laughs> I didn't know there was a bagpipe playing band in our town. Well, it's the same thing as we're going through these nominations and these ideas of who should win a Bucky. And, and we're like, oh my gosh, you're right. We have an awful lot of, say, bronze work in this town. We literally have seven foundries. Uh, that was the last amazing. photo that they just went past was John Wayne, of course, accepting from him um, the uh, statue. Can we go back to that? Is it possible to go back to that picture? There we go. Uh, John Wayne accepting uh, John Wayne. <laughs> John Wayne bought out that whole run of that statue that was made by Bill Nebaker and gave them to all his producers and, and directors and people in Hollywood. He was so pleased with it. Wow. The detail. That sounds like how, John. Again, I made fun of my stick figures, but I don't know how you get that kind of detail. I know. It's amazing. I don't have any concept of how much talent goes into being, I mean, I could see doing it with wood more than bronze, but... It gets well, hard. I mean, you got to make play. it right. It's yes. over when you fire it or whatever you do. Well, with there's it. talent, but there's also, as we look at the different people who are up for the Buckies in mm -hmm. all the categories, including Lifetime, what we're looking for is both a, a technical ability at mm -hmm. this work, an artistic vision, but also how that person helps the community around them. Oh, interesting, yes. And it's, I think it's a particularly Prescott idea. Right. You may be a great painter, but if you're just on your own, doing your paintings, shipping them out to Sedona and Phoenix to get sold, and you never interact with other people, you don't teach classes, you don't help people come along with their work, then the Bucky isn't your award. It's not about 10 people going home with statues. It's about celebrating the whole community and raising it up in a piece. How do, a rising how, tide lifts all boats. There you go. How do people get, how do the nominations come about? It's an open nomination process at the beginning. It's wide open. And sure, we get some very strange nominations. <laughs> but uh, we also find out about people we never would have found out otherwise. Uh, in the Outstanding Musical Artist category, we have a group called Merry Musical Moms. 
that I'd never heard of. They've never played uh, any bar gig in this town. They, what well, it is, I wouldn't think so being moms. But <laughs> literally, they are a bunch of very talented musicians who happen to be moms, and they get together and they play fundraisers and they play the Acker Musical Showcase. Really? I and, don't know them. And I had to dig because they don't think to themselves, let's shoot video of the performance, let's put it on the internet. They don't think that way. They think about their music. But they're a presence in the community and are assisting and aiding and helping out. Some of them teach music lessons on the side. They're they're fully plugged in the community, just not blowing their own horn. Sounds like they're very tenacious. Very yeah. yes. That's I, cool I, I keep stuff. doing it, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. People so need to be Saturday, where and when. Yes. Elk this Center. Saturday, red carpet at six thirty, award show at seven. Sounds great. Excellent. Thanks Thank for you, being here. Andrew, for being here. Yes. Uh, Ed, the entertainment district in downtown Prescott Valley is the place to be for entertainment, also at Tim's Toyota Center. What's happening at Tim's, you ask? The first annual family hoedown. Haven't heard that word in a while, I bet. Sunday, March 11th, 3 until 7 p.m. at Tim's Toyota Center. That's the place to be. Now, don't forget on St. Patty's Day, Rodney Carrington will be at the Tim's Toyota Center. You don't want to miss that show. Now, if you have seen all that and you want still more entertainment, go to Ed, the entertainment district. Harkins Theater, 10 screens and restaurants right around that Circle. Everything from Fireside Grill to Buffalo Wild Wings, all at Ed.